Magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pag-ukulan ng higit na pansin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered this third Sunday of Easter, celebrating the resurrection and the gift of new life given to us by Jesus. In this Sunday celebration, we offer our time we offer ourselves to God in this Eucharist because we declare that God is worthy of our praise. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Yeah. 
Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the captain and the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, 
as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer this honor for the sake of the name. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number, and they cried out in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth, and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out, to the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor, glory and might, forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen and the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Christ is risen, creator of all. He has shown pity on all people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. Brothers and sisters, 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to begin our reflection this Sunday morning by focusing on the experience of the disciples in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. We see that in the first reading, the apostles were dishonored. Pinahiya ang mga alagad sa unang pagbasa. Pinahiya sila sa harapan ng maraming tao. Hinuli sila. Kinulong sila. Pinahirapan sila. Sinigawan sila sa harapan ng mga tao. They suffered dishonor. But what is ironic in our first reading today is that even if they suffered dishonor, according to our gospel of to our first reading today, they were rejoicing. Masaya sila na ipinahiya sila. Sino sa inyo dito ang matutuwa kapag ipinahiya? Meron ba sa inyo ditong sasaya kapag napahiya ka? Meron ba sa atin ditong sasaya kapag nagdusa ka? Pero kakaiba ang karanasan ng mga alagad. Nagdusa na sila, natuwa pa sila. Who among us will rejoice if we suffer this honor? Let us see, my dear brothers and sisters, what is the secret of the apostles? Why did they rejoice in the midst of this honor and suffering? Let us go to our second reading today from the book of Revelation. In the vision given to John, the throne of God was surrounded by angels and the multitude, and they were crying one acclamation. They said, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, honor, glory, and blessing. Sa ikalawang pagbasa, nakita natin ang dahilan. Bakit masaya sila na nagdusa para kay Jesus? At iisa lang ang sagot nila, dahil karapat-dapat si Jesus. The Lamb that was slain to offer His body and blood for us is worthy to receive our praises, our honor, our blessing. That is why they did not mind if they suffer for Jesus. They did not mind if they themselves suffer this honor for Jesus. Because Jesus is worthy of our praises, of our blessing, even of suffering and persecution. We are willing to suffer this because Jesus is worthy. Kaya pala, kahit magdusa sila, masaya pa rin sila kasi karapat dapat si Jesus. 
Di po ba mga kapatid, ganyan din naman sa buhay natin. Kahit magdusa ka, kahit magsakripisyo ka, kahit mawalan ka, kahit mahirapan ka, kapag ang inaalayan mo nito ay karapat dapat na kumasaya ka pang magbibigay kasi alam mong karapat dapat yang inaalayan mo. Karapat dapat yang binibigyan mo. Kaya nga minsan nagtataka ako, bakit kaya kapag araw ng linggo ay napakaraming nagsisimba sa inyo? Kasi karapat dapat ang Diyos. Pasalamatan natin. Bigyan ng papurihan. Bigyan ng papuri at pagpapasalamat dahil karapat dapat ang Diyos. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ganyan talaga kapag karapat dapat. Hindi ka nagdadalawang isip magbigay. Hindi ka nagdadalawang isip maglaan ng sarili kapag alam mong karapat dapat ang iyong pinagbibigyan at pinaglalaanan. Hindi ko na kayo dapat takutin pa na magsimba. Hindi ko na kayo dapat bayaran pa para magsimba. Hindi ko na kayo dapat hakutin pa para magsimba. Kasi alam ninyong karapat dapat na kayo'y nandito. Siguro naman ko, wala ho akong binayaran sa inyo para magsimba dito. Wala rin naman ho kaming panghakot na mga bus para magsimba kayo dito. Kusang loob kayong pumunta dito. Ganyan kapag karapat dapat Masaya kang pupunta. Hindi ka na kailangang bayaran. Hindi ka na kailangang hakutin. Kasi alam mong karapat dapat ang iyong pupuntahan. Karapat dapat ang iyong pagbibigyan. Kaya nga, kapag mamaya sa offertory, nagbibigay ho kayo ng donasyon nyo sa simbahan, tama po ba? Tinatakot ba kayo ng mga kolektora namin? Sabihan niyo kami, baka pinangdidilatan kayo ng mga yan. No? Baka kapag nangungulekta, eh, pandidilatan ka, magbigay ka. No? Kaya sabi ko sa mga kolektora namin, smile. No? Huwag kayong mananakot. <laughs> Pero ganun naman, di ka naman dapat takutin pa para magbigay. Kasi alam mong, karapat dapat ang iyong pagbibigyan at pag-aalayan. You will be happy to give. You will be happy to serve. You will be happy to offer because you know that God is worthy. In our Gospel reading today, we see the disciples Very excited to see Jesus. In our gospel reading today, they were fishing, and they saw Jesus from afar. When they recognized it was Jesus, Saint Peter immediately jumped into the sea. He was so excited to see Jesus. He did not mind if he will get wet. He will not mind if he will swim towards the the land. He was excited to see Jesus. He was happy to see Jesus. Jesus is worthy. Jesus is worth it. And the disciples again, in the image of the fishing boat. Left the boat, 
a reminder of their offering to Jesus that once they followed Jesus and they said, Lord, we will leave everything, even our fishing boats, for you. A wonderful symbol of how Jesus is worthy even of us leaving our livelihood for him. Jesus is worthy of our lives. Jesus is worthy of our service. Jesus is worthy of our praise. That is why, towards the end of the gospel, when Jesus was asking Peter three times, Peter, do you love me more than these? Ako ba ang pinakamamahal mo? Peter was able to answer three times, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus predicted that Peter will offer his life, his death, for the glory of God. When you know that someone is worthy, you will be willing to offer everything and you will even be happy to offer because you know that person is worthy. Kaya mga kapatid, hanapin ninyo ang karapat dapat. Alam nyo kaya ho tayo malungkot? Kasi nilalaan mo ang pagod mo at ang oras mo sa hindi naman karapat dapat. Hanapin mo ang karapat dapat. Sasaya ka. Kahit mag-alay ka, kahit maglaan ka, alam mong karapat dapat yung tao na yan. Look for the worthy person the worthy cause and you will be happy and fulfilled even if you sacrifice because you know it is worth it. Kaya po sa mga mag-asawa dito, tingnan ninyo, sino ba ang karapat dapat pag-alaya ng oras? Yung asawa mo o yung cellphone mo? Nako, bilangin nyo nga, ilang oras kayong naglalaro ng mobile legend sa cellphone, no? Ilang oras kayong nanonood sa YouTube, pero ilang oras ang ginugugol mo para sa asawa mo? Alam nyo, hindi kayo ipaglalaban ng cellphone ninyo. Tandaan mo yan, no? Hindi ka ipagluluto ng cellphone mo. Hindi ka ipagtitimpla ng kape ng cellphone mo. Minsan, oras ang binibigay mo sa cellphone. Pero hindi naman karapat dapat yan pag-ukulan ng maraming oras. Kaya tuloy yung asawa mo, mapait ang kape palagi sa'yo. <laughs> yan, magdusa ka sa mapait na kape. <laughs> pag-ukulan mo ng oras ang karapat dapat. Kaya ka hindi sumasaya. Kasi ang oras at pera mo, ginugugol mo sa hindi karapat dapat. Sasaya ka lang kapag inilaan mo na ang lahat para sa karapat dapat. O, iwanan na natin yung mga bisyo. Napakadaming bisyo. Diyan nauubos ang oras, pera, Bawasan na ang oras din sa chismis. Naku yan, no? Fake news, no? Tuwang-tuwa tayo nagsashare. Paninira ng kapwa. Pag-share ng kasinungalingan. Tingin nyo ba, karapat dapat ba yung pag-ukulan ng oras natin? Naku, kaya ka hindi masaya. Kasi ang pinag-uukulan mo ng oras mo ay ang hindi karapat dapat. My dear brothers and sisters, look and find for the worthy person, the worthy cause. 
and you will find fulfillment. Hanapin natin ang karapat dapat. Piliin natin ang karapat dapat at makakatagpo tayo ng tunay na kasiyahan. Na kahit maglaan ka ng oras, kahit magbigay ka, minsan kahit nga magdusa ka at mapagod ka, masasabi mo sa huli, sulit! Sulit ang pagod ko. Sulit ang oras ko. Sulit ang pera ko. Sulit ang inilaan ko. Kasi alam kong karapat dapat siya. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa linggong ito, sinasabi natin sa Diyos, Panginoon, masaya akong nagpupuri sa iyo dahil alam kong karapat dapat ka. Nawa sa buhay natin ang paglaanan natin ng oras, panahon at ng ating mga sarili ay ang tunay na karapat dapat. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God's ways are sometimes hard to understand, but in the risen Christ, we see the God who cares for us and welcomes the petitions we now make in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons, that their love of the risen Lord will encourage them to feed their ship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, that all living things in creation may give praise, honor, and glory to the Lamb of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needy, that we may help to feed them in body and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, that the risen Christ may welcome them on the shore of eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God and Father, we stand in awe of your great power. Look kindly on your people in this church and grant our humble petitions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Yeah. 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Oh. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us physically in this celebration of the Mass. For those who may have come here from different places, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpilgrimage at pagbisita sa Manila Cathedral. It is an honor for us to celebrate this Eucharist with all of you. And we also would like to thank all those who are joining us through the online broadcast of this Mass, through the different social media pages that cross-post also this celebration. May our Lord Jesus bless us this Sunday of Easter, and may the Lord Jesus also help us to always make the right and worthy choices in life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.